I want to tell you all something that happened to me the other day. Joanne's had sewing patterns on sale, so I decided to throw on a sewing make and go check out the patterns. There are two McCall's patterns that I have decided I want and I didn't get them when they first came out. So I got one of them today and then the other one they didn't have in stock. So I was like, oh man, but that's okay. The one that I did pick up is McCall's 8036 and I like view A with the little ruffled skirt. I think that's really cute. So yes, I'm so happy to have this to add to my collection of patterns. After shopping at Joanne Fabrics, I decided to stop and have a bite to eat. My food was really good and now I'm on my way to my next stop which is LA Finch Fabrics I figured since I'm in the area I'm in Long Beach I figured I would just stop by they don't open until 1230 and it's only 1147 right now so I actually have a little time I want to see how far away I am I think I'm really close let me see oh I'm seven minutes away I can go ahead and head over there I guess and just kind of wait until they open and then I can get in there and see what they have. I'm really excited because I really like their fabric. Hopefully I can find some cute stuff. I am actually sitting outside of LA Finch Fabrics. I still have a few more minutes before they open. The shop is actually in a residential neighborhood so I'm actually sitting outside of an apartment complex and then the shop is right across the street. goodness I have two bags of fabric okay so let me share with you what I picked up I picked up all remnants and all remnants were $1.50 a yard so this was a sweater knit and I thought this was really nice I can see this being maybe a skirt or maybe even just a sweater or something like that so I thought that was nice I picked up three yards of this corduroy And then I got this really nice, it looked like silk, but when I asked what it was, I was told that it's actually rayon, but it has this denim look to it. It's kind of shiny, but I really, really like this. And then last, I just picked up several remnants of this denim fabric. So I think I have three separate pieces. I wanted a total of three yards. So we kind of just grabbed some remnants and put them together. So now that I've had a chance to go back to LA Finch Fabrics, I have a little fabric stash. So that should keep me busy for a little while. I'm sitting here trying to plug in my laptop because I am about to do a little work here in a minute. But I want to tell you all something that happened to me the other day. Okay, so I was out and about and I had to use the restroom. So the place was kind of crowded. So I was walking through the crowd, you know, I'm going, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm walking through trying to get to the restroom. So this lady stops me 
and she says, you look familiar. And I'm looking at her. She didn't look familiar to me. And she said, what's your name? So I told her my name and then she was looking like, mm, like, no, kind of like that doesn't ring a bell. And then she kept staring at me and then she said, do you sew? And I was like, yes. And then she said, do you make YouTube videos? I said, yes. And she said, that's where I know you from. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh. And so anyway, we got to chit chatting about YouTube. And then I asked her if she sold and she said yes. And we talked about what I was wearing, which was actually this garment here. I thought it was just the coolest thing ever to meet someone in person who actually watches the channel. And we really did enjoy ourselves talking about sewing and talking about YouTube. YouTube. So I am so. out of town right now. My husband and I flew to Michigan and before I left I actually made a garment. So my next project is going to be Berta 7400 and I want to make view B which is this view here and I like that the pants have a little pleat at the bottom and then they also have a band and then this here this waist area is actually ribbed knit so I decided to use a denim fabric for the pants and then use a gray rib knit for the waistband and for the band that goes around the leg I just use some different denim it's kind of like the same color but this is actually a little bit heavier but I had it left over so I figured I would just go ahead and use that for the hem band at the bottom and let's see what else I decided to reduce the crotch on the pants by two inches so I just folded out two inches folded it up on the front and the back pattern piece I also removed one inch from the bottom of each hem this is the back piece and this is how the pleats were indicated on the pattern piece and I kind of was confused because I was like I don't know how they want these pleats to be done so what I am planning to do when it comes time to sew the pleat I am going to put these two legs together and then bring it to the middle and then do the same thing on this side bring these two lines together bring it to the middle it's hard to do in paper but once I bring it to the middle, it should look something like that, which is very similar to how it says that it should look in the pattern. Right there. The pattern calls for one inch wide elastic that will be sewn into the waistband. There's a marking here for elastic casing. So I just made a snip on my fabric where that line begins. Then I just drew a line from this end over to the other end and then when it's time to sew the casing I will just sew on top of this line and that way everything should be nice and even. There are also pockets and I just cut the pockets out of the same fabric that I'm using for the pants and this pattern is rated as very easy. So I put the pleats in the bottom of the pants leg. I'm almost done with these pants. And once I put the pleats in and then I put the band around the leg, the band was much smaller. I had a whole bunch of fabric left over and I could not get it to fit into this band. So I redid the pleats. I kept trying to figure it out and I could not get the pleats to fold enough to where it would fit into this band properly. So I just decided to turn the bottom of the pants leg into gathers. And so I gathered this bottom leg and then I was able to put the band on that way. And it's supposed to have another piece to go on top and you're supposed to sew it around and then tuck it under. But I tried the pants on and they are long enough without this extra extension. So I think I'm just going to fold this under 
and sew it down so my band is going to be I guess that'll be half of what it was supposed to be I took a pocket off of an old pair of jeans and attached it to the back on the left side of the pants. I wore the same outfit on the airplane to fly to Michigan and the pants fit just fine after I put the waistband on. I really didn't have to put in the elastic but I decided to just go ahead and put it in anyway. And the band is nice because you can wear it up or you can wear it down. So let me tell you what happened when we got off the airplane. So we took a shuttle to go pick up our rental car. So my husband dropped off his luggage and he walks into the rental car place and I decided to just sit outside and wait for him. When he comes back out of the rental car place, he's getting his luggage and he has this big smile on his face and he looks at me and he goes, wait till you hear this. So I'm thinking, what, you know? So we're walking and he tells me that the lady at the counter said, would you be okay with a muscle car? My husband was like, uh, yeah. And so she actually gave us the keys to a Mustang convertible. So my husband was so excited and I was too. So we jumped in the car and we put the convertible down and we have actually been riding around in this Mustang convertible and it has been a lot of fun.